Here's your NBC 26 update. I'm Nina Sperano. Testing for COVID-19 is down in Wisconsin, and new cases reflect that. Today, the state reported just over 4,000 new cases of the virus. However, the state also reported another 57 deaths. The state is now nearing 4,000 deaths related to COVID-19 since the pandemic began. Health leaders say testing remains a key to boxing in the virus. You may soon be able to buy a COVID-19 test kit without a prescription. The FDA has granted emergency authorization use for the LabCorp Pixel home test. If you buy the test, you collect nasal swab samples at home and then mail them to a LabCorp facility for testing. The cost of the test is $119. However, you can file with your insurance company. Today, we learn more about preparations in Wisconsin. Leaders at Advocate Aurora say they have freezers ready to go throughout the system to store the vaccine for COVID-19. They've also been prioritizing team members for the first doses, possibly as soon as next week. Time now for a check on our weather. We send it over to Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cam. Nina, it is another warm day. Temperatures in the lower to mid 50s, a good 20 to 25 degrees above normal for this time of year. But changes are on the way. Those 30s across the northern plains are going to work in here for tomorrow. We'll see cloudy skies. And then on Saturday, we'll see some snow, especially south and east of the Fox Valley. For your latest news, sports and weather, download the NBC 26 News app. It's free. It's available in the App Store and on Google Play. Just search for WGBA. Have a great day.